today uh, we will continue our discussion about this uh, how the trp uh, trkb out of uh, trkb er phage is mediated by calnexin and fam 134b interaction in the previous video we have discussed how this uh, calnexin affects this lysosomal autophagy so let's start with the discussions so in the panel a uh, in order to uh, validate whether in the wild type cells there is interaction of calnexin and fam 134b occurs or there is a complex formation of calnexin of fam 34b that helps this trkb in autophagy in order to uh, and the hypothesis this hypothesis comes from the literature where uh, in some of the previous literatures it is mentioned that calnexin mediates uh, along with this fam 134b the misfolded proteins towards autophagy so from that uh, the hypothesis comes that trkb will also be mediated by uh, canlexin and fam 134b complex or not so first they take the uh, wild type cells that is that has this canlexin and do the immunoprecipitation using trkb and in this they can find out that in the wild type cells there is a presence of trkb both in the low exposure and high exposure along with this calnexin so and this fam 134b is also present so this uh, shows that in the wild type cells the complex formation of calnexin and fam 134b uh, helps this trkb towards autophagy however in where, where the calnexin is absent they do not see any uh, complex formation of calnexin and 134b since calnexin is absent so there is a there is no possibility of this calnexin around 34b complex formation occurs uh, and these things are been validated using uh, this panel b where they did the quantitative analysis of this western blot where they can see that the calnexin and in the presence of in the wild type cells the complex formation of uh, this calnexin is high and in the case of and also this fam 134b formations are high whereas in the case of in the case of this calnexin depleted cells trkb does not inter neither interacts with uh, this fam 134b and uh, since the calnexin is not present it also not interact with the calnexins so calnexins and uh, fam 34b amounts is significantly or statistically lower thereafter uh, what they did is they need to check they need to check the effect of this egf on uh, this complex formation calnexin around 34b so when they use when they do not use the egf they can see all the three components in the wild type cells uh, that is calnexins by fam 134b and trkb and when they use the egf they can see the reduced formation of uh, reduced complex formation of this calnexin and fam 134b compared to the wild type so this indicates that it could be uh, the reason this egf uh, might be somehow uh, inhibiting this complex formation of calnexin and fam 134b and uh, since egf is related uh, to this triggering of this map k signaling pathways that we have uh, concluded from our previous videos or from the previous experiments that are presented in this paper that can be referred back to the previous videos or to the reference paper that is present the, the was link has been presented in the provided or presented or provided in the description so let's come back to the topic so what happens when this egf is uh, introduced along with this map kinase uh, map k kinase signaling pathways inhibitor they can see the restoration of this calnexin and fam 34b complex formation one thing we need to remember that this immunoprecipitation is based on trkb and these things are been uh, quantified in this panel d where they can see that when only egf is used they can see the reduced uh, calnexin formation and also uh, this fam 134b formation however with this uh, mapk kinase pathways inhibitor they can see this restoration of this calnexin and this fam 134b when immunoprecipitation occurs using trkb 
so this indicates that map k signaling pathways might playing a role towards disrupting this complex formation kalnak signal 134b afterwards uh, they check using immuno uh, immuno staining uh, immuno staining and in this case when the egf is not present and in the wild type cells they can see that uh, the proper distributions of this fam 134b trkb and lamp o1 along uh, along with this dapi as a control uh, however for the kalnaxin depleted cells they can see some of the lumps formations and these things they are validated using sim uh, analysis where they can see that overlap of all the three signals that is fam 134b trkb and lamp1 in the wild type cells however in the case of this kalnaxin depleted cells this overlap is not as clear as to the wild type cells and when the egf is introduced this overlap is disrupted and they can see some lamp lump formations of this trkb and for this egf they see uh, and for this kalnaxin knockout cells with egf uh, in egf injections or with the presence of egf they see they also see disruptions in this overlapping of overlapping of signals from these three components that is fam 134b trkb lamp 1 so this uh, indicates that is the egf that disrupts the autophagy or er phagy of this trkb is along with the kalnaxin so next they decided they want to check whether the phosphorylation of kalnaxin that results in this kind of uh, disruptions or not so they use this two mutants two kind of mutants that they have available first one is targeting map k signaling pathways next one is targeting ck2 phosphorylations or map this first one is targeting map k signaling pathways phosphorylations so in the in the case of this uh, and in this case they used kalnaxin that is uh, that has this h attack so and this is the control and in the case of uh, immuno precipitant using ha uh, what they have find out is that in the wild type cells in the presence of egf they see the uh, low formations of this tr uh, low formations of this uh, trkb uh, that is interacted with this kalnaxin and fam 134b compared to the wild type case and for uh, this mutant that is mapk signaling pathways that has been uh, mutated phosphor map ke signaling pathway phosphorylation on kalnaxin has been mutated in that case they do not see a decrease in the uh, decrease in the kalnaxin trkb and fam 134b complex however uh, when they use this ck2 phosphorylation pathway that are mutated they see the uh, they they can see the decrease in this uh, decrease in this trkb complex formation with kalnaxin and fam 134b so this indicates that the phosphorylation path uh, phosphorylation of the kalnaxin at map ke signaling pathways plays a important role uh, towards this complex formation of uh, trkb kalnaxin and fam 34b that helps in er phagy and these things are validated using panel h where they can see that when this mutant is used that is uh, s563 is mutant is used they see the reduced trkb formations and also uh, reduced trkb formation and at the same time this uh, there is no change in this fam 134b formations and similarly when uh, this this mutant is used that is h5 Uh, this mutant the h5 uh, kalnaxin histo uh, uh, kalnaxin h attack with mutant on s563 a or 5 n 544 a in this case also they see the reduced uh, formation of this trkb because in this case the phosphorylation of this mapk signaling pathways has been occurred at 563 a at s i63 position this indicates that overall the mapk signaling pathways are been triggered by egf that will disrupt this complex formation of kalnaxin and fab 34 134b with the trkb 
and this uh, weakens the degradation of this TRKB via ER FAGI pathways when this EGF is been uh, introduced. That's why these lumps of EGF formations are been uh, seen uh, whenever the calyxin depleted cells are there or uh, this S563A mutants are there. So I hope you understood the overall objective of these experiments and what they have concluded after this experiment. And in order to understand this experiment in details, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. Along with that, you can also refer the previous videos related to this topic. So that's all for this video. Thank you for your time.